I am honored to be here. First, when we talk about Plainfield, let me just tell you my roots in Plainfield. I was mentored politically by Jerry Harris when he was the VA right. in town, I mean, sitting there, right? right? Do you know, anybody know Mike Washington? Yeah. Karate and all that? Yeah. Okay, Mike was my college roommate, so I used to come to Plainfield a lot. <laughs> so, if you think he's crazy now, imagine back then. Okay, first let me say this, that in my quest to be the Union County Democratic Chair, that's all I want to do. <coughs> I don't want to have any other elective office because it's 21 towns that you have to focus on. And that needs to be the priority. And what we have now is a monumental chance to shift the priorities of the Union County Democratic Committee and the county government. We have not received our fair share in equity of employment, of economic opportunity, and we need voices at the table that can speak to that. Now, let me just say this. I pray that Chairman Green gets well and gets back. That's right. I also, excuse my bad mayor, that being mayor and chair and aspiring to these positions, we become vicious Targets. And although you may not agree, at least in this country you have a chance to voice your opinion. Now in Hillside, what we have done, and I, I say we, because you can't become a leader by yourself. And I know sometimes people become leaders and they think they got there by themselves. Can't do it. In Hillside, we have made a concerted effort to empower women. We just got a female elected to the freeholder board. We elected two mayors. Our female, our VA is a female. Our township attorney is a woman. Our school board attorney is a woman. Our council president is a woman. Our last three school board presidents were women. My newly elected mayor, Mayor Dahlia Patrice, is here today. Stay up for a second, Mayor of Hillside, right here. What we're doing in Hillside on that level, and also 0% property tax increase in 2016 and 2017, school board budget, 0%. So what we have done, it, we talk, we disagree, we even argue sometimes. But we worked together for the collective good of the community. And we want to take that philosophy and expand it outward in the county. Now, what this is, and, I, and I, I said it before, county committee or district leaders, and if it was the human body, you are like the feet. And sometimes people neglect their feet. And when you neglect your feet, guess what? Yeah. You start limping. <laughs> you may have to sit down. Mm -hmm. You may have to get on your knees. But you are not going to be right until you pay attention to the feet. <laughs> And as district leaders, as county committee, we are the feet. And guess what? They have to start paying attention to us when it's not election time. Okay. Because our concerns and your concerns are important. If and when I become the chair, what I do, I don't want to amass power. I want to empower you so you can improve your communities and we can be a voice and we can hold all our elective representatives responsible for the mission, like when they get elected and they have those fancy palm cards and mailers <laughs> and talk about what they're going to do. I want us to get those fancy palm cards and mailers and say, okay, let's see what you did. Okay. Let's see where you are on track to your goals. But the leadership starts from the top. And I pledge to work with Mayor Marr, Senator Scutari, because after this election is over, we have to bring this party together. Yeah. All right, because we're still in the election business, but we're also into improving the quality of life in all 21 towns. We all have issues, and there's no cookie cutter approach from the county level that what works in Summit or Westfield and Cranford works in Plainfield or Hillside or Elizabeth. And you have to have a leader that understands the uniqueness, the diversity, 
and how each town. Time. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'll take questions.